Hey y'all, I know it's been a while since um, I've done a video or anything, but um, we've kind of all been under the weather, so I have lost my voice, but it's kind of coming back, so I'm still a little junky. But I'm gonna make some um, crock pot Chex mix, just something so we'll have something to munch on during the week. And thought about being neat for y'all to see it. Um, I have eight cups of um, rice Chex cereal, and four cups of gluten-free pretzels. You can use crackers, nuts, anything like that that you want in it. Um, we usually like these two things the best, so that's usually what I put in it. So, and I've melted one stick of butter. So, then I'm gonna mix one stick of butter and, oh, I should have opened this up earlier. Worcestershire. course it'll tear off. There it goes. Alright, Worcestershire. I'm going to do three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One, two, three tablespoons. And then I'm going to put in one teaspoon of seasoning salt. One teaspoon of seasoned salt. I want a half a teaspoon of yes, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. teaspoon of dill weed. Anytime I ask my kids to get the dill weed out, they're like, Mama, what? Why do you want this stuff? It's like green. Oh, it tastes good. Okay. Put it in there. Alright. And then mix all of this up really good. And I got my crock pot already on high. And then you're going to add in your cereal and your pretzels and it's going to fill up this crock pot, which is just what you want it to do. And then you're going to pour all of this mixture over the top of this and then set a timer for every 15 minutes. This needs to cook or an hour um, and then about every 15 minutes you just stir it really good um, until everything gets all mixed up in here somewhere I have a big old giant spoon okay. and everything gets all incorporated and then it is completely done. I usually spread it out on a cookie sheet to let it fall out. Um, or I have a big um, Tupperware container that we always use and put all of the um, chase mix in and that's what we eat out of. And I usually just dump it all in that and that's what we eat out of. So when this gets all incorporated and stirred up, put the lid on it. And in 15 minutes, come back to it and stir it again. 15 minutes after that, go back and stir it again. 15 minutes again, stir it again until you've done it for an hour. And then it's done. Um, I used to do it in the oven, and I still do when I'm making a lot, but this is just kind of a small batch. Um, put the lid on it. Set my timer for 15 minutes, and I'll come back and do it. Um, another thing I want to show you that I did this morning, um, which is a good hack for busy mamas who have kids to get off to school or teenage boys who sleep late 
or go into work early or have weird schedules like my boys do. I pre-cooked sausage patties and pre-cooked biscuits this morning. Let them cool and sliced all my biscuits and then I wrapped them all up in saran wrap and then I'll take all of these and put them in a freezer bag because they're all individually wrapped. Put them in a freezer bag and then they can take them out whenever they want a sausage biscuit and pop it in the microwave. If they remember, they take it out the night before and put it in the refrigerator and it's thawed and then it takes 30 seconds in the microwave. If they don't remember, then it's a minute to a minute and a half in the microwave and it's completely done. If they want cheese on it, they put cheese on, put cheese on it after it's heated up. But they're already individually frozen, ready to go. They're good for quick breakfast, um, quick snacks. So it's just something that kind of makes it easier for us that if we're all at different places going different directions. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And remember, this kitchen's made for dancing. Bye, y'all. Good.